So that's what he looks like. After all these years, we are the first to see him. The old lion. Assalamu alaikum. Colonel Yadishi? Yes, sir. Please. This side. Colonel Barillo, military governor or merch. This is Commissioner Lobito, who has come directly from Rome to advise and uh, assist us. Well, you invited us here to talk. We are here. Your Excellency, it is my one wish to see the Italian and the Arab together in a single interest. I foresee a future of common cause, a give and take of character and skill. Our civilization and your culture, a marriage of virtues. I want observers from the governments of Tunisia and Egypt to witness any agreements between us. As far as I'm concerned. Out of the question. He is seeking international recognition as if the Bedouin were an independent nation, which they are not. They are subjects within our province. Our arguments are not between nations, but between Italians. We cannot permit outside interference in our internal affairs. And why misrepresent this? We are not Italians who do not tell us that we are. We were born where we were born, only by the will of God, and only by our own mothers. We are not you. But uh, we will come to foreign observers later, huh? As yet, <laughs> there is nothing written, nothing to witness. But we have written. must have our Muslim schools. Oh, yes. No question. Freedom of education. No question. The schools will be reopened. We must have some form of national protection. We must have a national parliament. The parliament is a matter for Rome. This tent is not the place. Why not? You pitched it. No conditions, you said. No limits, no exclusions. Everything open on this table, in this tent. Let us say that at present, we will note your demand for a parliament. Mark it well. The confiscated lands must be given back. Well, now I wouldn't say confiscated lands. I would say lands reserved for settlement and cultivation. Lands to be developed. To be developed by Italians. I tell you, there is no escape 20 years, 40 years. The land will be back to its people. Why do you think we fight you? But the new settlements will provide employment. As long as you take our lands, for as long as we're able, we must fight you. Must? Yes, we must. But I have it on religious authority that your Koran does not permit you to fight a war you cannot win. Now you are going to interpret our religion for us. The book leaves no doubt. It is our duty to God to defend ourselves against those who have driven us out of our homes. 
I think this might be a good time to adjourn. We are in no hurry. Why are you delaying? Your Excellency, uh, we are obliged to refer your demands to Rome. At our next meeting, we will give you their answer and make our proposals. At least, at least we know that we all want the bloodshed between us to end. <laughs>